Welcome everybody back to Friar Talk today. We're going to be talking about Nick Martinez as he is officially back. Um, we talked about him uh, when we did the Robert Su Suarez contract, talked about, you know, he's likely to come back. They were kind of working things out. Nick Martinez ends up getting a three-year, $26 million deal. Um, now in that deal, he's making $10 million in the first year. Then he can opt into the next two years and make $8 million in each of those years. But if he decides to opt out and basically not take the money, the Padres have an option where they can opt him into $16 million a year. It's a very weird contract. I, I don't really think I've seen many deals like this before, um, especially with a guy that's like borderline between a, should he be a starter, should he be a reliever. Um, and basically the, the concept for the Padres is they have an option to bring him back at $16 million a year for two additional years if they basically view him as like a mid-tier starter. That's kind of the thought for them. Martinez, if he has a bad year, he can kind of bounce back and, and get that $8 million. So it's a little bit strange. Um, most likely he's going to opt out, and the Padres are not going to accept him at $16 million. Uh, that'd probably be the guess for next offseason. But for this year, you have him $10 million this season. So obviously, Martinez was huge down the stretch. He was great in that bullpen role. But he did start last season as a starter. And there's, I mean, right now, he's probably your fourth best starter on the team. So you're expecting him to be slated into a starter role at this point. However, that could change depending on who the Padres acquire, either in free agency, um, if they go and re-sign either Clever, Manaya, or both, they trade for someone, you know, they could bring some uh, a couple other guys into this room and he could end up starting the year in a bullpen spot. Um, but it's just a little bit hard to tell right now. But with, the, with Nick Martinez being back, do you guys think it makes more sense for him to start or should he be a reliever this season, in your guys' opinion, just based off of, off of who he is as a pitcher? I think he'd be a really good four or five starter. I mean, when you look at last year, he thrived out of the bullpen role, but at the same time, he was solid as a starter until, you know, it looked like towards midseason he caught some fatigue and he started throwing stuff over the middle of the plate, and that's when he started to get hit. He was healthy enough for when playoffs when he had to pitch three innings. I don't, he didn't let up any runs against – it was the Phillies that game. And he looked great. I mean, it looked like he should have been the starter over both Sean Manaya and Mike Clevenger. I mean, we we really wish that Nick Martinez would have could have went five six innings. You know, Nick Martinez being stretched out right there, going being able to go five six innings. That's a whole different ball game than okay. You know what? You have to show uh, throw Sean Manaya out here for two innings because Mike Clev couldn't even get through one and your fourth. Um, I think now that he's had a year to adjust to the league, I think he's going to be able to be a really solid four starter. I think we have enough weapons in the bullpen where, yeah, even if we only get five innings out of the guy, that's going to be a really solid five innings with a, for a four starter. And whoever we got in the fifth spot, you know, might make it a little bit more difficult, depending also what other starters go in the market. Because Kodai Senga has a large, for him there's going to be a lot of other starters out there that they're going to set the pace for the market and some guys might just price themselves out of the Padres price range to the point where Nick is going to have to start not with it's not really going to be an option so I think he should start but I also think it just depends on the market for the Padres where if you can get a couple other starters really cheap and he's just depth and he's like your long relief guy like Nabil Chris Matt that's also a really solid role for him it's just, what is the starting pitch at market going to look like? Yeah, you're right. What is the starting pitcher starting pitcher market going to look like? What's the Padres rotation going to look like? What's the bullpen going to look like? There's a lot of questions surrounding what are the Padres going to look like, and that's what's going to dictate, is Nick Martinez a starter? Is he a reliever? Um, personally, I think as of right now, with the way the roster is constructed, he's going to be a starter. Um, whether that's as the four or the five, um, no one knows. I would imagine that they're going to go get another another arm. So I'd imagine Nick Martinez is going to be a five starter. Um, and come playoff time or come down the stretch, maybe after the trade deadline, he's going to go back into that reliever role. But the whole reason he wanted more money and the whole reason he was going to leave was because he wants to be a starter. He His, his whole thing is he wants to be in a starting rotation. And you're probably going to take in a little more money somewhere else to go get 
go get that. But he wanted to stay in San Diego because I saw he said stuff about the fans, the place, the players. He loves being here. So um, it's kind of a win-win both for the Padres and Nick Martinez in terms of at least his first year. $10 million for a guy that you're hoping to get starter-type innings out of, hopefully 150 maybe not 150 but at least 100 plus um that that's kind of the goal for for what i see out of nick martinez um I, i've said it before he's a little bit of a hittable pitcher i don't expect anything crazy i expect like a low 4 era out of a five starter i feel like you're paying him a little more uh than 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 that but um yeah Hopefully, hopefully he's here to. I mean, he's here to stay for at least this year. Um, if he performs, he's going to opt out, and the Padres are probably going to keep get him back in. If he doesn't perform, he's probably still going to stay and just take that eight million. So, the Padres don't really have leverage in this contract, and that's what kind of frustrates me is that they don't have an out necessarily. Where if he doesn't do good, you still got to pay him eight million the following year. If he does good, you can either let him walk or you pay him sixteen million. Who knows? You know, and and I don't think he's. I mean, I like Nick Martinez. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not trying to say he's bad, but I don't think he's really ever going to be worth 16 million dollars. Um, overall, though, at least for this year, I like the deal. 10 million. Hopefully, you get 20, 20, 15 plus starts out of him. Um, long relief, long relief type stuff out of the bullpen. He's going to play a massive, massive role if we're able to make the playoffs. We saw that this year where he was. Outside of Robert Suarez, probably the most valuable guy out of the bullpen. So he, he'll go back in that role when the playoffs come around because he's got to know who the horses are. You Darvish, Blake Snell, Joe Musgrove. Um, and I don't know if the Padres are going to go into the free agent market when it comes to the other starting pitching spot. I think it's a good possibility to go into the trade market. So ideally, you want Nick Martinez as the five. Yeah, so I think you guys are absolutely right. I think that it's really going to depend on who who else the Padres bring on bring in, um, and I think they can go a lot of different options. We, you know, we talked about Senga, of course. Uh, we also talked off air about you know bringing in like Wade Miley or bringing back Sean Manaya as another lefty because right now you only have Snell as your as the only lefty. Um, so if you were to bring Senga in, does that mean that you want to even add another guy? Like, it, it, there's kind of a lot of questions with it. Um, but I want to look at just Nick Martinez in general. So last year. When he was a starter, he was not nearly as good as when he was a reliever. When he was a reliever, he had a two six seven ERA. By the way, this is like almost the same amount of innings pitched, uh, a little over 50 for, for each. Um, he had barely over one whip, um, but when he was a starter, he had a 4-3 ERA, and he had 1.5 whip. And his, like, just not, like, he was, he was allowing a lot of guys to get on late in games. Um, and if you look even farther into that, um, you will basically find that trying to find it uh so when he had when he was facing guys third time through the order he was significantly worse we always hear this a lot of guys you know you pull them like in the sixth inning or whatever because they get significantly worse right well it was a completely different story like he was awful when it was the third time through the order when guys were up the first time in their first plate appearance they had a 758 ops second plate appearance 805 ops third plate appearance a 979 OPS. That is absolutely awful. So even if he is a starter, I think that it's probably only as your five in the fifth spot. Um, and I think that he's a guy come playoff time, like we saw, he can come in and pitch three innings and it can be so crucial in a game for you. Like he's almost like kind of like, like a Swiss army knife guy, like late in the season. Cause you know, we've seen him come in in close games. Like he's also another thing that, that I looked into is, He's also the best in high leverage situations. He is the best there. So if you're trying to get the most out of him, you're probably not doing it as a starter. However, where the Potters are right now, they would need him to be a starter. So I think it is really just depending on who they can add. I think that his deal is almost kind of like, okay, we have him for this year for for ten million. This is a good deal. We like him as a bullpen, like as a bullpen piece. There, um, we might need to start him depending on who we land in free agency or who we land in a trade. But we know that he can at least be a fifth starter. And if he's not, we're still going to get so much value as out of him. And he's going to pitch over 100 innings for us as that long reliever. And he's going to be really good in it. So I think it's just kind of depending on where they're at. I think that they probably would rather see him in the bullpen. I know a lot of people are kind of ex just fully expecting him to start. But I think that the only reason that the Padres put that clause where they could keep him at $16 million is if he is as good as he was as a reliever this year. 
as a starter, basically. I think that's kind of their, their, their thought. Maybe not as good, but close to as good. Because it was very different when he was a starter compared to a reliever. Still, as a starter, if you're able to go five, six innings consistently, you know, low four ERA, that's still pretty good. Like, I'm definitely taking that. It's a lot better than Sean Manaya was last year. That's a lot better than Clevenger was later on in the season. So I still think it's an upgrade at the back end of the rotation. But I think that the Padres probably have their eyes set on something even a little bit better because I think they're going to view pitching as like the biggest thing this offseason. So that's kind of where I'm at on it. But anything else you guys want to add? Um, no, not really. I mean, obviously, Nick Martinez is was a, a crucial part to the 2022 Padres um, in terms of providing long. He was kind of like I feel like he was this year's Nabil Christmas. 2021, you saw a lot of long reliever role, uh, the long reliever role out of Nabil Chrisman. He was coming in, throwing a lot of clutch innings, um, essentially saving some of the arms in the starting rotation. And this year, that was Nick Martinez. So, yeah, you know, he deserved the contract. Um, but, yeah, no, nothing else, really. I'm excited to see how he's going to do because I think, I think last year we weren't necessarily down on Nick Martinez as a player. We were down on him as a starter. We didn't – we weren't – very excited to see him in a starter role as a reliever. We were saying, you know, like, yeah, we could see that for sure. We think he'd be a great reliever. And he was, he did end up being a great reliever, but I, I didn't really anticipate him being a solid. I thought he was a solid fifth starter, sixth starter in that, in that short span that he was able to pitch all those games. Um, what was it up until May or June? He was, he was a starter. So um, yeah, I thought he was solid in that role. Hopefully we're able to see more of that. I'm not expecting anything crazy. High threes, low fours will do the trick um, if he's going to be a starter. But if that doesn't end up coming, I mean, he's got to know his role, even if he wants to be a starter. Actually, going off of that, you reminded me of something I wanted to mention earlier. I think one of the big differences was when he was relieving compared to when he was starting was the increase of velocity. Mm -hmm. Nick Martinez was sitting 97 basically 96 97 touching maybe 98 at times when he was a reliever compared to when he was starting you know he would sit 94 and drop down to 92 by the end of the game because of fatigue if he can keep his velo up maybe we'll see a new uh, nick martinez when he's starting if he can sit 94 and touch 96 maybe 97 throughout his entire start we can see a whole new pitcher just because his pitches will play better off of that compared and he has the same movement on his two seam. I think he'll be fine. Um, I think it's definitely going to be an adjustment. Like you're going to need to increase your curveball. You're going to have to figure out when to use it. Hopefully, it's not as hittable as it was last year. I know his changeup was completely untouchable, but when he started to throw his two seam and you had to rely on his curveball later in games, is when he started to get hurt. So hopefully he starts to work on that, tune it a little bit, and get it ready for a full season. If he does that, I think he could have a really solid year. I think 3-5. I don't think we should expect anything below a 3-5. I think that's going to be over, over the top realistic for him as a starter. If he's a reliever, yeah, maybe a 2-5 ERA would be great. Yeah, and I just want to say one thing before, before we take off is – I also really like Nick Martinez. I'm not trying to be down on him. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if if he's gonna like be that great as a starter compared to how good he was as a reliever late late season because he was awesome last year. Like yeah. I don't want to undersell any of that. He was one of the like most important pieces for this team. In all honesty, like there's a lot of offensive players that did not cr contribute as much as Nick Martinez did last year. Like so, I, I think that he was huge. Um, I think that he was a big reason that the Padres bullpen was so dominant in the playoffs for the most part. I mean, their bullpen was huge for them um, in both the Mets and the Dodgers series. Philly series, he kind of got roughed up a couple times, but like for the most part, it was still pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I I was just so impressed last year, so I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm down on him because I'm very pumped that he's back and think he's going to be huge. I think him in the playoffs is like how we've just seen so many guys that come in and play that like role where they can just come in and pitch three innings at any point, and it is so crucial for you like late in the season so with that said what do you think do you think he's going to be a starter or reliever leave it in the comments and we'll talk to you guys very very soon